Yeah, he had uh, thought that he had his best day on Sunday in the scrimmage. Uh, he, he made a lot of tackles and was very active, and I think now he's he's starting to let loose a little bit and you know, not uh, not being cautious. You guys playing him at different spots or got He's playing Mike right now. Been Progression of spring, a lot of good days now that we're getting closer to spring in. Yeah, we have a lot of guys that uh, are stepping up and making some plays. Again, probably the kid that made the most plays on uh, Sunday was Dante Bonamico. So he, he was a kid that, you know, he, he was in on some turnovers, uh, made a bunch of tackles, and, you know, smallest guy out there, but he's flying around and, and doing some good things. And, and then you, you have the guys that David Long was in the house. Guys like that are Toyas, uh, you know, Schuler, Fuller, all those guys are all, uh, all guys that are stepping up and doing some good things. Where is David in year two as opposed to last year? This keeps getting better. Uh, he's a guy that's maximum effort in everything he does. In his film room, on the practice field, in the weight room, loves football. Just, just makes plays all in that field. So, very impressed with him. Good thing is we have three more years with him. Do you feel like at times last year he was just running fast to run fast, but now he kind of knows what he's doing? Yeah, there's times he still does that, but that's that's called instincts. And, you know, he'll do things on film, and I'll tell the younger guys, don't try that. So, he, he's just a guy that understands the game. He gets it. Cornerback? Do you like how those guys are developing? You know, I do. I, I think that we have three guys right now that have uh, really stepped up and, and have a good spring with Elijah Battle, Keen Bailey, Mike Daniels. And, and I really like where Jake and Sean are at as well. You know, those young guys are getting a lot of good quality reps. And, you know, so we'll uh, hopefully continue to see them grow through summer workouts and fall camp. I think it was more, you know, that time I spent. So you hadn't told Dave he's too short to play. He no. that linebacker. No, he uh, he may want to fight me if I tell him that. So he's uh, he just uh, he's a great football player. I'm glad he's on the team. He just like I said, every every single day he does something that you just shake your head at or something. So, Remind you of anybody? Kind of he's different. He's probably as different as anybody I've ever been around or coached. He's, he's so instinctive, so explosive, and strong. Kids a good player. Do you think lead blockers and offensive guys might underestimate him at times as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they look over and see, you know, I think we listed them at 5'10", 5'11", that's, that's being graceful. <laughs> He's a little taller than me, so that's a good thing, but, uh, but not much. You can still get, get his face in there, too. It seemed like he ripped, uh, just jammed a fullback last year on the play. I can't remember if that was TCU or what game that was, but he just wrecked the play. Maybe didn't even make the tackle, but just blew it up. In the pocket, he does that a lot. Yeah, and you know the thing I like about him is he plays his pad level is so low and he gets underneath those blocks. I mean, he does guards, tackles, full back. Uh, and the thing about him, he is not afraid one bit of anybody because of size. And uh, he's full speed. And he'll run into you. Again, he's very, very tall. So I guess growing up, a son of a heavyweight. Boxing, you gotta be able to